There's a brother that wanted to go see Birth of a Nation with himself and a few others. He saw that it was sold out. That's what the theater told him. And he went to get into another movie instead, which was recommended by the theater. Well, while he decided to peek inside Birth of a Nation, he noticed that it wasn't sold out at all. They only had a few people in there, not even five people. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm in uh, Regal Cinema Movie Theater. Came out here to see the Nat Turner story, Birth of a Nation. I got into the movie theater, went to the counter. They said that the film was sold out. So I'm thinking it's kind of odd that it sold out on a Tuesday and it's not really a whole lot of people here in the theater. So I bought a ticket and they told me the next best thing is accountant. So I bought a ticket for the accountant and they told me that the accountant uh, would be a good film. But I didn't want to see the accountant. I wanted to see Birth of a Nation. So I go into Birth of a Nation's theater and it was only three people sitting in there. All of the people that was in there said that they told them that the show was sold out, which it wasn't. It was a lie. And I'm letting you know that they're saying that just to get ratings. I'm walking to the theater, to the counter to see. Excuse me, I got a question for you. I came here for 9.30 to see Birth of a Nation and they said that it was sold out. I went into the theater, there was only four seats sold for it. What's happening with that? And why why is that happening? Um, I I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, on my screen it says it, so I say it. But do you understand why that could present a problem, though? Yes. Yeah. I, I was just asking the people that were taking the tickets up there because I I ended up buying a ticket for the accountant, huh? and I went into Birth of the Nation, which I came for, and other people were in the line came for it. But they were telling them that it was sold out. But none of the tickets were sold for it. Sorry, that's my No, I'm not blaming yeah. you. I'm just... I want everybody in this theater to understand, like, what's happening with that. If it's people coming for the film, and they're not letting them know that it's not sold out, or they're putting on the screen that it was sold out, which I read earlier, and I just spoke to the gentleman who told me that. But nobody seems to know anything about it. I, mean, I, can, I can, like, ask... I can have a manager come down for you. Yes, please. Can you... Tell us an angry black guy in the lobby who want to know why this is happening. I was asking her when we came here earlier today. I came with a few guests and we were told that Birth of a Nation was sold out. We went to the theater because another friend had went there and there was only three people inside of the theater. Why are they saying that the, the film is sold out and it's not sold out? When it happened uh, was we added another show and that's the theater that you probably... So we added another show, The Birth of the Nation. That was the same show that was listed. Just tickets to it. That was the 930 show. That was the only one. Yeah, we added it at the same time. You added it at the same time you told people it was sold out? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Uh, we put it, we, we uh, opened it up in, another, in that theater and um, only three people bought tickets. It's not true. I came in here with six people myself and we were all told that it was sold out at around 930. At around 9.30? Yes. And they so they told us the next best thing that we probably could see is accounting. And we bought tickets for accounting. So our money went towards accounting opposed to going to Birth of a Nation because we were told that it was sold out. And the ratings for the movie are extremely low. And now I'm starting to see why the ratings are low. Because if you're telling people that the movie is sold out or it's technical difficulties and stuff like that. And the, the patrons are buying tickets for other films. The film isn't going to get the viewership that it's supposed to get. And I didn't see an added show. The 930 show was the one that was listed yeah, that, all that's week. The, that's the show we played. We, we added it back. I, originally, um, it was dropped. We were going to put Tyler Perry in that theater. We, had, we opened it up, and we only got three tickets sold for it. All right, I'm, I'm not hearing that. I, I'm not believing that, but that's fine. That's what you're saying. You added the show. I didn't see an added show yeah, on here. Uh, we might have added it just a little too late um, <laughs> before we caught it, but it was added and it did play, and we did get sales on it. All right, no problem. What's your name? My 
My name's James. James, and you're the manager here? Yeah, I'm one of the managers. And here. that's what you're saying. They added the show. Only three people came for it. But I'm one of the people that was in the group that came for the show at 930, and they said it was sold out. So after 930, they added the show that nobody bought tickets from. Is that what you're saying? Oh, uh, no. It was, we added it before 930. It had to have been before 930. I, I don't think we would have sold any tickets for it. I mean, I can call my other manager who did open it up. Nah, we, we're going to deal with this on a corporate level. We, I just wanted to see what you would say. I'm here working for the film house itself. So we'll just deal with it on a whole different level. But you're saying to me is that show added to... to it, it did play. It was open and it did get sales. Okay. All right. Thank you, James. So James said there was a show added. That's the manager in the background. He said there was a show added, but it wasn't no freaking show added. He's lying about it. But uh, we're going to call corporate on this one. We're going to take this one to another level. So what we need y'all to do is go out to the film, to the theaters, and see Birth of a Nation. Lion ass James back here is saying that it was a show added. Not true. I witnessed it. I'm telling y'all how it's going down. This is what they want us to see. This is where they want us to be at. Right here. That's what they want us to buy the tickets for. And this. So when you got stories like Nat Turner stories hitting the films, hitting the theaters and stuff like that, they don't want you to see that. Now, did you hear that sorry explanation, that lie that manager was telling? So you said that you had a 930 showing that was sold out, allegedly. So instead of putting Medea in that theater, you put Birth of a Nation. Then he said he did it right around that time they went to go buy the tickets. You are lying. You got caught, James. Why are you lying? And that's why Regal is getting exposed for doing this sort of thing, for trying to sabotage Birth of a Nation. But you guys have to understand, I have never seen them in my life try to sabotage a movie like this. They tried to sabotage this movie way before it came out with Nate Parker and the, his case that he was acquitted for. Okay, that didn't work. Now he's getting inside the theater and you're trying to say it's sold out. You're trying to start all this propaganda against this movie. You didn't do the advertising that you would do for a Medea movie or an Avengers movie or whatever. You didn't do any kind of advertising like that. These people have done everything they can to sabotage this movie. Now, you may say, why? It's just one movie. Well, I'm going to tell you why. Those of you who have seen Birth of a Nation, they do not want you to get the spirit of Nat Turner within your heart to stand up against them, to not be their slave anymore, to not give them all your money, all your possessions, your mind, your body, your soul, which black people give them constantly every single day. They don't want you to recognize who you really are. They don't want that. So movies like Birth of a Nation can inspire you. Think about it. The original Birth of a Nation inspired white supremacists to get into the Klan and start killing black people. They understand movies can inspire you. So you surely don't want Nat Turner inspiring you to stand up against white supremacy. To say, I ain't taking this crap no more. They don't want that. So they're trying to harm this movie. They're trying to harm the bottom line so nobody else would try to make a movie like this. This is white supremacy 101. Hollywood is the movie division of white supremacy. You have to understand that. The music industry is the uh, music part of white supremacy. That's why these black artists get screwed so much and black people are constantly giving all their talent to these uh, white companies and that's why they get screwed. They're only masters, none of this other stuff. I don't know why black people don't create their own music industry just for them. They don't want to know why you won't create your own Hollywood. Even Indian people from India got Bollywood. They were smart enough to do that. Why don't you doing it? You got the talent, you got the money, you got everything to create your own Hollywood. You see how Hollywood treats you? If you're not, you know, acting a fool, because what's wrong with the comedy? I have, everybody like to laugh, but if you're not doing stuff like that, or, and you making moves like Birth of a Nation, no, you're not gonna be seen. Now understand something, the LA Times and all these different media publications said that Birth of a Nation was a flop. Lie. This movie was put out October 6th. Let's go ahead and put a picture up. As of today, this movie has made $14.1 million. Now, it haven't been out even a month yet. And with all the attacks against this movie, it still made $14.1 million, being number one, an independent film. Number two, it took Nate Parker $7 million to make it. 
Fox Searchlight got it from him for about $17.5 million. Um, so Fox Searchlight is just about there for making their money back that they gave to Nate Parker. So people support birth of a nation, find it. A lot of people saying that they went back to that same theater and they had the movie blacked out. They had to wait 25 minutes for it to be fixed. Um, you know, other people saying it's not in their city. Even if you have to travel to go see birth of a nation, support that movie, take your kids to go see the movie. We need to have our movies be supported. Now this is when we need to talk to people like Jay Z and Beyonce and Magic Johnson too, and say, Hey, can you put these movies in uh, black theaters? We need more black theaters because obviously when you see these companies as white owned, when you see a movie like birth of a nation, they don't want that because they all fall in line with white supremacy. So we need to have our own stuff. Like people like Jay Z and Beyonce and Magic Johnson, and a whole lot of others got enough money to create movie theaters to at least put one in every major city that can show films like birth of a nation or any kind of in independent films we need that we can do everything that they're doing but we just don't invest the money and this is the problem that we have in the black community is that we are too much by ourselves we have allowed these people to put their nasty uh demonic voices in our ears to tell us to separate from our people and to be on an island for ourselves and not help our people but yet they help their people every single day from the bottom to the top so we need to create movie theaters, Hollywood, music industry, everything we need to create. Sports are making billions of dollars off of black people. NFL alone makes $4.6 billion a year off of the talent of black people. Take all them black people out of the NFL. Watch how much money they're making. They won't make nothing. Shoot, they're already complaining about ratings right now because of uh, the Kaepernick protest. So we know how to hurt them, but yeah, we need to make it even bigger. So support that movie. Don't believe the hype as the great flavor Flav would say, and can do your own research. Don't believe these people and their propaganda. Like they like to say about a race war, the race war been going on, especially a race war of the mind. Cause whoever get the mind, get the body, get the heart, get the soul and get everything. So that's why they go after your mind constantly. And we have to defeat them within our mind through the power of knowledge. Because knowledge definitely is power. So let me know in the comments what you think about this movie theater trying to sabotage Birth of a Nation. Also, Hollywood doing the same thing. Share this video. Let everybody know what's going on. Like the commentary if you like and subscribe for more news stories.